Hello children. Today's story is the ant and the grasshopper. Once upon a time there was a farmland. On this farmland the farmers grew wheat. Do you see these golden yellow grains on these plants? These are wheat grains. We pluck the wheat grains, put them into the grinder, drrr, churn them into flour and with this flour we make biscuits, pasta, chapatis, cakes, muesli and so many other foods. Mm, yum! Alright, very near to this farmland there lived a family of ants. Mother, father, babies. Grandmother, grandfather. Uncles, aunts, nieces and nephews. All the ants lived together in this nest made in the soil. Anna was the youngest member of the ant family. She loved playing with her friend Gugu, who was a grasshopper. So Anna was an ant and Gugu was a grasshopper. All day they played, jumped, ran and danced together. La la la, la 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 la, la la la, la 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 la. One day Anna's mother called her and said, Anna, my dear, from tomorrow, you cannot go out to play. Mm, why, Mama? Anna asked. Because you have to come along with us to help the family. Mm, what help, Mama? Anna, the autumn season is going to end and soon it will be winter season. We have to make preparations for the cold days. What preparations, Mama? Anna, we have to collect and store food for winter season. Mm, okay, Mama. So Anna agreed to her mother happily. Next morning, the ant family marched in a row. They went to the wheat farm and came back carrying wheat grains to store in their kitchen for the winter season. Anna also worked very hard to help her family. Each time when Gugu saw Anna working, he teased her. Mm, poor Anna, she cannot play. Oh, poor Anna, she has to work. Anna cannot play. And Gugu? Mm. Gugu can play. Gugu can jump. Gugu can run. Oh, what fun! Oh, what fun! One day, Anna said, Gugu, why don't you also do some work? Collect some food for the cold days. Mm, the cold days are far away. I, I just want to chill and play, Anna. Soon, it was winter season. The ants remained in their cozy, comfortable nest. They didn't have to bother to go out in search of food. They had collected so much of it. But Gugu? Gugu had no food to eat. He didn't have a home to live in. He sat outside in the cold wind. He shivered. His teeth chattered. He had no one to ask for help except Anna. He went outside Anna's house and in a hushed, low voice called her. Anna! Ch -ch 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 -ch. Anna! Anna! Anna came out and saw Gugu and said, Hmm, 
thing, Gugu. What is it? Do you want to tease me again? Oh no, Nana. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. Can you please give me some food to eat? Anna quickly went into the kitchen and got some wheat grains and gave him to eat. Aunt Mama, that is Anna's mother, was watching everything from behind. She called Anna and said, Anna, my dear, if you want to call your friend to stay with us for some days, you can. Oh, Anna was so excited to have Gugu staying with her. And Gugu was so happy to get a home. But yes, he had to do his share of work. He had to help Anna in cleaning the nest and looking after Anna's grandparents. In the beginning, he just didn't like to do all this. But gradually, he got habitual to doing this work. Gugu became responsible. The days became warm again. Gugu made a beautiful house for himself just next to Anna's. Whenever Anna's family went out to gather food, he accompanied them and gathered so much food for the coming winter. Gugu was a changed grasshopper. Alright, did you like the story children? A question for you. Uh, if your friend teases you and then asks for help just like Gugu did, will you help your friend or leave him and go? And the second question, do you help your mama like Anna or are you like Gugu? Hmm? Okay, do let me know these two answers in the comment section. I will wait for your answers. And do subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon. Don't forget. Lots and lots of love to you. Till the next story. Bye.